What is going on, everybody? My name is Ricky, and I'm sweating buckets. I'll get back in. That, I'll get into that in a sec. But as I'm starting by saying, I'm finally back from my vacation. This is probably the last one that I know of for this year. I don't think I'm gonna go anywhere else because I've been on. I've been on a lot more than usual. And for those of you who don't know, I just got, I was in Europe and Portugal to be exact. It was my first time there, but it's my first time there in a few in the past what two three years something like that. So I've been in the while. But every time I go there, I realize how different shit is compared to North America. Now back to the beginning. So every time I've traveled this summer, something bad has happened when we arrive. Last time when I got back from Florida, my basement was confessed with ants. The flying ants, the, the, those other small ants are fucking annoying. They used to be around the, my gaming area where my PS3 was, but then we put a tons of ant traps and shit around there, and now that's gone. But then this time when we came back, the air conditioning was broken. Now, I know what you're thinking. You live in Canada. Why do you need air conditioning? Well, as some of you might not be shocked by this, but Canada's fucking hot in the summer, especially where I live in Toronto. Like, this week right now is, like, one of the hottest weeks of Canada in the, of all time in Toronto. Like, Thursday is supposed to be break a record for the hottest temperature. It's going to be feel like 46 degrees. For those who don't live in Canada, that's, like, 100... And f Let me just check. 115 Fahrenheit, which is fucking hot. It's hotter than most of the U.S., fucking arrogant bastards don't take Canada's fucking cold but I, that's why I'm sweating balls because we have no air conditioning my house is like 33 degrees or 90 degrees or something like that and it was it's been broken this is the second day it's been broken we're supposed to be getting a new air conditioning thing tomorrow hopefully if, have you ever tried to sleep while you're fucking sweating buckets and it's just like I've had to I slept in my basement because on my couch because upstairs is just too hot and houses in Canada, the way they're built, they're not built like some of the houses um, in the south of the U.S. or in Europe. They're built to keep heat in, because in the winter, it's freezing. But then, which is good, it keeps you warm in the winter, but in the summer, it's boiling. You can, you kind of, it's good in one season, but then for the other season, it's pretty bad if you don't have air conditioning. I don't even talk about the gameplay. So this is a game of nu demo, no, domination on Nuketown. I'm just going to say this quickly right now, because I don't know when I'm going to get this in commentary, because I'm not looking at the gameplay right now. I just know how long more or less the gameplay is. It's the host migrates some in the middle because I get a chopper gunner, which I'd never usually get unless it's Nuketown 24 7 because I never use it. But the host migrates in the middle and it kind of splits up. So if you notice, a bit, get a bit out of sync at certain parts, that's kind of why the host migrates. And I'm using my typical setup flak jacket, sleight of hand, and hacker with um, my favorite gun of all time, AK 47 with dual man. One thing I just wanted to talk about is now that I'm back and I have no more vacations. I will pr most likely be able to make more videos more often. I'm aiming for one a week, maybe two a week. It's just gotta, I just gotta find um, not really gameplays, but things to talk about. And I'm gonna try and get back on a two video a week schedule. Now for the topic I wanted to talk about, I've been, I've been talking about, I've been meaning to talk about this topic for quite a quite some time, if I do say so myself. But I've been talking about this topic for a while. It's um this. Bill at the U.S. Senate. I don't know anything about U.S. politics. I don't know how it works. I know Canadian politics works, but I don't know anything about U.S. politics. It's some bill in the Senate, which what it basically is going to do, it's going to make commentating a criminal offense, I guess you could kind of say. But basically what this thing, it, it's the summary of it. It makes unauthorized web streaming of copyrighted content a felony with possible penalty up to five years in prison. That's fucking long. Illegal streaming of copyrighted content is defined in the bill as a po... Uh, is the is defined in the bill as an offense that consists of ten or more public performances by electronic means during any 180-day period of one or more copyrighted works and has a total economic value either to the copyright holder or infringer of at least two thousand five hundred dollars. Now I can kind of see where this bill is coming from. People streaming movies illegally and torrents and all this stuff is really becoming really big over in the past I don't know few years. And that's many people's main sources of movies. Now, I'm not going to say I pay for movies. I'm not going to say I steal for movies. I'm just going to say I watch a lot of movies on my computer. Now, whether I get those from Netflix, whether I get them from Pirate Bay, or just file sharing itself, I'm not going to say. I'll let you decide. But regardless, file sharing, a lot, of, a lot of these companies, they lose lots of money from movies. But one of the big things is they make millions upon millions of dollars. For some, especially some of the big movies like the Harry Potter, which everyone's going crazy about. I never really liked the Harry Potter movies. I never really gotten into it. 
platformers, all these movies, they make millions of dollars. And people stealing it, they say it affects them, but all it is is just affecting the director and actor to buy a new a new Ferrari or a new beach house or some crap. But some of the smaller movies, like The Hurt Locker, and Hurt Locker, which didn't make a lot of money itself, but a lot of people pirated it and stuff, then they lose out because they don't break even. Now, when it's talking, to, when it's talking movie-wise and something, people actually losing lots of money. I understand why this bill is... Um, was constructed and why people support it, but when it comes to commentating itself, I don't think that um, that it should have that should it, there should be an exception drawn for when it comes to video game commentating, because the Call of Duty industry, the well, the gaming industry has become such a big industry, and one of the reasons it's become so big, is because of all these videos and all this variety of people could watch on the internet and they can see what the game looks like if it is it's good people's opinion stuff, and always before I buy a game that's not a Call of Duty or a Battlefield. I'll always go on the internet, always go, I'll look at people's opinions of it, not just the IGN review, because IGN is, ext- is biased sometimes, because they're just ex- extremely biased sometimes, so I'll go watch other people's reviews that aren't these big paid companies that get paid by people to say games good or say games bad, and that really changes, changes why I buy games, I I wouldn't have bought Ellie Noir if people didn't say it was good, I, no, I would have bought Red Redemption anyways, because I always buy those games, but I wouldn't have bought Mafia 2 if people didn't say it was a good game, um... I wouldn't have bought home. I wouldn't have bought Crisis, because all these, because of all these people on there putting their the game out there, putting the gameplay out there, putting their opinions out there. And if this bill makes it illegal to do this, then a lot less people are going to do this. A lot of these companies are going to lose business. Now people are still going to buy it just without, with regardless, like looking at um the IGN reviews. But I don't, I don't think as many people will buy it because, because there isn't as much other non-biased, I guess you'd say, opinions of. The matter because you know, these big companies you don't know what who's paying them what to say what you know and if you notice the commentating kind of thing it really kicked off around when Modern for two came out and that's kind of when the call of Duty started really getting big because in cod 4 and cod 5 it was it was big but it wasn't as big as it is now and Modern for two and black ops for a lot of people's first games because of i think because of all this exposure they got on youtube and stuff and also another thing about this is if this were to pass, the only people who'd be able to make commentaries were Machinima, or Machinima, because Machinima would buy some sort of contract or something with these companies that would allow them to make continue making the videos. They do. And I know some of you might be thinking, Ricky, you live in Canada, the awesomest country in the world. Why would this affect you? Well, I know. I know it's the awesomest country in the world. Thank you. But since YouTube is an American website, and they'd have to follow American laws, even though I live in Canada, even someone who lives in North Korea, it doesn't matter. It's an American website. They follow American laws. It doesn't matter what country you're in. So I think this is coming to an yes. I am to long, long. Yeah, this is coming to an end. I went over a minute. But my final score is 47 kills, 14 deaths, three captures, three defends. Somewhat decent. I got best on my team. It's all right. But if you have an opinion on this, um, other than what have I said, please leave a comment. I appreciate. I appreciate all comments. I want to see your other, your feedback and opinions. And also remember to. Thumb up the video, favorite it if you liked it, and I will see you guys later. Hopefully, I'll be able to make a zombie video soon. I just gotta get some footage with some new guns to upgrade. I'll have to, and I'll have to get my retarded friend to uh, be in the video with me. But that is all for this video, guys. My name is Ricky, and you stay classy.